All right, now that the office is cleaner than it's ever been, I think it's time for a quick tour. Well, no one's really asked me for this, but when has that ever stopped me from making a video? So we've been home a little bit more often uh, lately than we normally would be for some reason. And so I took a little bit of time in the evenings to just kind of tidy up my office. I spend so much time here during the day working, but also occasionally because it has all of my projects and toys, uh, I spend a bit of time here in the evenings as well. And I thought it was time to make it just a little bit nicer, clean it up a bit. And I figured now's a great time to show anybody who might be interested uh, what it's like in this particular space that I spend so much time in. Let's just do a quick walkthrough for an overview, and then I'll dive into the other areas that warrant a little more detail. Here's where I do my work for my job. And most of the time, people I work with only get to see me and my background, and they don't get to see what I get to look at. And we have some standard office things, like a printer and a shredder and some storage. And we actually have this big room divider, which is really just a giant bookcase we got from the local free library. It divides my office from the family room, which I won't show you because that's not as tidy at the moment. You'll also notice I have a few screens in my office. I really like having that dynamic activity, and I actually use these computers for several uh, small projects. Back here we have a display shelf where we have the old Apple IIe, which actually works, and a few stuffed animals I got from Gemma. She insisted that I have those back there. My picture of Baby Yoda and a clock and my Minecraft lamp. And behind that we have a little bit of a secret. This big curtain actually divides the room and if we pull it back we'll see, well, more Star Wars decorations, but also a treadmill where I've been known to do some exercise. It's actually really nice to have the treadmill right in my home office, so that way in the morning, before I get started, I can get my blood moving, but also occasionally in the afternoon, you know, during a break, I can take a quick walk to get myself energized. It's nice to go outside too when the weather's great, but sometimes it's not, and so it's really handy. Now, because I spend so much time here, I've really tried to make this space an expression of the things that I really like. And so that's why I have a poster for my favorite movie, Casablanca. Over here I have Mickey Mouse, because I'm a huge Disney fan, and my Sherlock Holmes uh, Deerstalker cap, and of course uh, Batman, as well as pictures of family, including Tiffy. There she is, always kind of watching me. And I have this great picture that was done by our friend uh, Todd Purley, Marquis de Jadou. So I get to look at that and Louise Brooks looks right at me while I'm working. And I also recently had a new acquisition, the No Time to Die James Bond poster because I'm a huge James Bond fan. And I'm a little bit disappointed that the movie is going to be delayed until November of this year, but for good reason. And also you'll see I've got all kinds of other fun things on the wall. You know, again, more Sherlock Holmes, Dracula, uh, some Star Wars stuff, Harry Potter, Batman, Doctor Who. I've also got uh, Captain Marvel, a copy of Green Hornet number one that Tiffany and uh, our friend Greg gave me for a birthday one time, and my ancient iPod museum. Uh, I don't think any of those work, but it's kind of fun to look at, and uh, I've been a fan of Apple technology for a while and I appreciate some of their designs and it just, you know, seems like a cool little installation. I had this big iPad for about four years and that one is Bram's old iPad which is so slow anymore he can't use it. I just keep a spare around in case I need to put movies or books on it for uh, a plane ride with the kids. Uh, and also my newest acquisition for this the office was this Veradesk standing desk so I really like being able to go over and lift it up by the handles and then stand up when I feel like standing. And so when I lift up the standing desk, it looks just like that. It's the perfect height for typing. And I find that when I'm on phone and video calls, standing up is really nice. It helps me stay activated. But sometimes when I need to concentrate and when I need to write, it's much better to sit down for whatever reason. So that's what I do. These little lights on the side are just uh, inexpensive Aki lamps. I use those uh, to help 
uh, light me up a little bit when I'm on uh, video conferences. Good light really makes a big difference and it gives the camera something to work with. And I just have like a super cheap six-year-old Logitech camera. I basically spend almost no money on any of the technology that I have here in this room. I kind of don't believe in it because, you know, most of the stuff you can buy, even if it's a little bit older, meets uh, basic needs and I'm not a big gamer or anything like that. So this is why I can have, you know, a really cheap Windows laptop where I do play some games, right? But I also have an eight-year-old uh, MacBook Air with a really, really old display, sometimes for when I do little music projects. This is the second oldest TV in the house that I brought down here just to have in case I want to play some videos, uh, maybe during a break time, or, you know, sometimes I'll just have something on in the background while I'm working uh, if I'm not on a phone call. And it doesn't really distract me, but it kind of makes the uh, atmosphere around me a little more dynamic, if you will. I have a really, really old MacBook here from 2009 and an even older Mac Mini from, I think, 2006 and a very old display. I actually have turned the Mac Mini into just a little media player. I have a whole bunch of old digitized movies and laser discs like Star Wars, you can see they're playing right now. And sometimes I'll just you know, turn that on and let it run in the, in the background. Again, just because I think it's fun to have, you know, some visual activity in this space. It makes it feel more lively. I actually have some really, really old technology up here as well. I think this particular laptop, this Pismo PowerBook, uh, is about 20, is it 20 years old? Maybe. And this uh, thing, which is called an E-Mate, is a Newton-based uh, device for computing in schools. They uh, stopped making those, I think, 25-ish years ago or so on. So, uh, you know, those are the kinds of things I either used and just uh, kept, and they still work, right? Or I got on eBay, you know, just because I was sort of charmed by it and thought I would uh, try it out. Fun fact, I have a cloth behind me, which is really an iPad with a broken uh, digitizer. Super Dad trophy my kids gave me for my birthday one year, uh, a Chewbacca cup that we got at Disney World, and then various little stuffed animals. Uh, I think Gemma has given me at least two of these, Stormy and the Little Bear, and this one I got from a conference. That BB-8 over there is actually just a, uh, a special kind of cup. There's a, like a little straw hole in the top. I don't use it for drinking, it's just decoration now. And this Minecraft lamp was super cheap on sale. Uh, at some point and it just is a fun thing to have in the background the kids actually like minecraft quite a bit more than i do and again here's the uh, apple II, which definitely works and i have a little device on this which actually can take games and programs on a little sd card so i don't have to switch floppies anymore and i have some succulent plants over here that uh, are the only things i've been able to keep alive and i've tried many times uh, to plant things and have them grow in here. And I just don't have a talent for that. And so lastly, we actually have uh, tons of books. This is a small selection and I keep most of my comic books here as well, although I almost never uh, drag them out. Uh, I think in the household we have more than about 2000 books at this point. So there are many more on the other side of this shelf, which really helps again to divide my office from the rest of the house so every once in a while, I'm able to find a piece of art that I uh, really like that is not too expensive to adorn the walls uh, and surfaces of my office. But sometimes stuff just comes up, like this sketch that Gemma did of Rey from Star Wars. And I thought, oh, that's so cute. I think I'll put it on my wall. Uh, but also, I'm a really big fan of printing things that I like. You know, so this picture of Bela Lugosi, you know, which is very uh, dark but looks great in a really inexpensive frame is on the wall. This uh, illustration from an old uh, Sherlock Holmes story uh, I also have on the wall. That's just printed, you know, and framed. And I made this sort of little art installation using pictures that I found online and I colored them. And it's basically a decomposed smartphone, right? The capabilities for storage and for making calls and typing 
and making films and playing music and taking pictures. I just had that idea at some point that I wanted to represent that, you know, and that had a nice space to fill. So I thought I would do that art project. And then the other project that was sort of fun that I'm semi-proud of is just this set of Star Wars droids, you know, finding some line drawings online and basically coloring them and composing them on this uh, really old cork board and kind of reuse that. Uh, and I also have some Star Wars posters we've gotten from a previous trip to uh, Disney World. You know, just kind of setting that up uh, has been a lot of fun. Uh, and it's uh, really nice to be able to do something that's even kind of a primitive art project, you know, that expresses what I wanted to see without having to go out and buy anything too expensive. So that's it. That's the tour of my home office that nobody asked for, but I thought it would be a fun thing to do. And the office was tidy for once, so why not? Uh, as you can see, I filled the whole place with things I really like to look at to make the time that I spend here more enjoyable. And maybe some of you are doing more remote work. I would really encourage you to personalize your home office space if you want to. I think you'll find that's a bit of fun. Uh, I think you'll enjoy the time you spend there more. I know I do. Uh, thanks for watching this tour. I hope you thought this was fun also.